In this video, I'm going to be covering forces in motion. So to start off, let us define force. A force is a push or pull due to the interactions between objects. So forces can change the direction of an object, the speed of an object, the size of an object, and the shape of an object. But the mass will never change. Examples of forces include gravity, air resistance, friction, and upthrust. So, how do you calculate force? Well, force equals to the mass times acceleration, with the unit newtons, of course, and this is the triangle formula for force. Speaking of force, weight is another type of force. So, how do we calculate weight? Well, weight equals to the mass times the gravitational field strength. The gravitational field strength on Earth is 10 newtons per kg, but on other planets it would be different. For example, Mars, it is around 4 newtons per kg. So here is the triangle formula for calculating weight. So now let's move on to momentum. What is a momentum? A momentum is an object or a mass in motion. So how do you calculate momentum? Well, to calculate momentum, you would need to multiply the mass and the velocity. So this is the triangle formula for momentum. Now we can move on to law of conservation of momentum. So the law states that the total momentum before collision equals to the total momentum after collision. Relating to momentum, now we can talk about impulse. So what is an impulse? Impulse is the effect of forces over time. Impulse is also the change in momentum. So the impulse can be calculated by multiplying the force and time. Since we said the impulse is the change in momentum, we can write the equation like this, where mv is the final momentum and mu the initial momentum. So from this formula, we can derive another formula to find force. So in conclusion, force equals to the change in momentum over time. 